What's happening YouTube? Uh, welcome back uh, again. My apologies for being so long on creating a new a new video. Um, life has been incredibly busy. What with work, kids, family life, uh, just generally, life in general has just been absolutely uh, mayhem. Um, so today what we're gonna do is, this is gonna be the third time I've come out over the space of the week. Um, trying different spots, uh, but I'm gonna introduce you to what I use for flash photography. It's a subject area that I was very, very afraid of to start off from my photography career um, because everything got started to become very overexposed because of my lack of knowledge in photography uh, and flash. As we come on, a um, good friend of mine, Rob, um, uses speed lights heavily in most of his wedding photography, and I thought, why not? <clears throat> Through using the speed light, I started looking at more different concepts of flash photography, different styles, different guns, um, and also sort of just var variations on how to take um, photos using flash. That's where I stumbled across Jason Lanier, and he introduced me to the Rotolite Neos. Uh, Neo 1, Neo 2, AOS, and uh, all their other models that they've got on. The two I'm gonna to talk to you about <coughs> predominantly are the Neo 2 and the AOS, because they're the ones that I own. Um, we have come out in a lovely wooded area, been here a few times. The sun is setting, it is 20 past six. Um, so we've got some lovely shaded, shaded areas, as you can see in the woodland. And we're going to use the Neo 2 just to flash our subjects to emphasise um, their features on their face, but also to keep our our dawning light, dawning light, dusking light. Sorry, My, to to keep the dusking light in our photos. Right, so the Roto Light Neo 2 comes in a nice little bag, um, battery pack with our light. And we've got a little plastic on the end so we can put our our filters in there as well just so we can get some different colours in as well and I have got the filter pack with us um, which comes in this one here so you've got a very variation of colours and then obviously you've got to buy your batteries separately and that's what they come in so you've got six AA batteries which allows you to do um, normal flash but also high speed sync as well now high speed sync is a different kettle of fish altogether but basically it's going to allow us to take um, flash photography uh, at very high shutter speeds, so one past 120 of a second, um, and that will uh, basically make sure that we're not going to get any flash or any shutter lines coming through our, our image um, when we're taking it with this. Okay, so we'll set up, we're going to get some photos. Right, so the point of today with the, um, the Neo 2 is we're actually going to do some on the field, um, on the field. Uh, shoot with the Neo 2 so you can see the before and after with flash and without flash um, in a setting like what we're in now. Um, now the beauty of the Neo 2 and the AOS or any LED um, flash guns for that matter is it allows you to shoot all day long and then late into the evening as well as soon as we lose our light so that is the great thing and it also allows the camera to have the subject um, already pre-lit so focusing is a lot easier as well. So we've now flicked onto um, the Sony um, for the for the for the vlog uh, video in, and I'm going to be using the Canon uh, for the shoot. So at the moment we've got we've got the Neo 2 set up there, Canon camera set up there as well, and then we've got we've got the boys in the background, and um, we've got Anthony and Dan taking some landscape photography, and we've got Snakey over there doing some. Um, some drone footage, um, and, and don't worry, he's a fully qualified pilot. Hence the reason we're going to use the footage in the uh, in the vlog. Um, so he has got his license and qualified to fly. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to get into it. The sun is setting. We've now at um, uh, 6:36, and um, so it is going down lovely. And um, what I'll do is just turn the camera. You can start to see. Turn the ISO down. The sun is just behind there. So the sunset is looking lovely uh, and it's going to give us some real nice, uh, real nice, uh, real nice definition of the colours and the sunlight that is going to be on our faces. So I'm going to get probably your snakey as a model set up here with the uh, with the greens and the, the lighting coming off from the trees but we're going to flash him up as well to make sure that he is perfectly, well perfectly, the exposure that we want for the images that we want. Okay, so let's get on with it. 
So the reason we're using um, the, the, the photography tripod for cameras instead of a light tripod is purely because of the rough ground. I've got the, the ability to extend or de-extend and alter the legs left um, sort of to a 45 degree angle just to give ourselves a better balanced um, ground level. So <clears throat> we're gonna take a photo. We've got the sun just hitting. If you take, stop, go back a bit, stop. Every time that's giving us an extra stop of light, so it's giving us a lot more. So as it flashes, it's going to give us a lot more light. So if we stay there. So this is without the flash. Right, there. Yeah. Now this, this is with the flash. So the difference in the colour. So we're using the sun just to emphasise this, just to stand there a bit more. So the beauty with the Neo 2 as well is it will, it flashes. As soon as you, the beauty of it is when you put your finger down on the trigger for sort of continuous shooting, it will take. So if we just put the, we've got it onto um, onto a fast shutter, we're running it, uh, running it a hundredth of a second, F2.8, ISO 200, um, but we'll actually do continuous shooting. So if you look at the flash then,
every single time we hit the finger on the trip on the on the shutter it will always activate the trigger so we're never ever going to lose that photo so it's perfect for weddings perfect for traveling perfect for kids as well because you're always going to capture them moving if you get uh, some right there stand there but Just look that way. Eyes sort of towards me a little bit. So, so look, keep your head there, but look straight. So. Now because of the sun flares, because of the sun flares coming at us, the camera is finding it difficult to focus on you because the flares coming through, the camera is trying to focus on a flare from the sun. So by putting it in autofocus, put the sun behind you, lock onto you, flick it to manual, that's means of locked focus, which means that I don't have to keep trying to focusing backwards and forwards. It's difficult because when the sun flares are coming, I can't focus because I don't know where you are because yeah. the sun flares and so neither can the camera. So by locking on focus and then moving very slightly, it gives us that okay. real good focus point. Yeah. Right, so. So on that, this is it for this evening. Um, we're going to carry on shooting tonight and I'll put those at the example, but we'll see you on the next one.